Hey yo, it's Dave. What's going on, everybody? Today we're gonna go over the JP Pesh notes for July 16th. Uh, they uh, Grand Cross database did put it on Twitter instead of the website. You can go to the website, but it'll just lead you to the Twitter right here. It's just a link to their Twitter. So go check them out on Twitter. Make sure you give them a follow. So let's get into it. I also got this one pulled up just in case. I don't. I don't know why I just got it. So. Okay, not doing full notes on the site due to personal reasons. All right, cool. New characters, new, well, basically beach versions of Easton and Valenti. Let's go over Valenti first. Her passive is applies infect for two turns on enemies that, that have used buff skills. Excluding ultimate move skills applies when entering battle. Hmm, okay. Uh, first skill, inflict detonate damage equal to 250% of attack on all enemies. Detonate is the more old gauge they have, the harder you'll hit, basically. Her second card, inflict damage equal to 450% of attack on one enemy, prevent old move, no, prevents ultimate move gauges from filling up for two turns. Okay, on three stars, so on one, I imagine it's just one turn, okay. And then her ultimate is the same as other Valenti's. Uh, 630% on one enemy Rupture is does does more damage against someone who is buffed and Easton let's look at old girl over here. She's green. Oh and Valencia is blue. So yeah, look forward to that Oh man, Valencia. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I gotta skip you <laughs> Seaside woman increase all allies penetrate well attack <clears throat> attack type stats, right? Penetration, crit chance, and crit damage by 5% per debuff on the enemy. Limits to 8 applies when entering battle. So that's pretty nice. So you can get 40% like penetration and stuff like that. Inflates weak point, which is... Is that damage done? Let me see. Hold on. Let me, hold on. Right across the database. Let me just refresh my... My thing. My arm. Weak point, hold on. Yeah, okay, when it's a debuff, it, uh, three times damage against debuffed enemies. Okay, I just had to refresh myself. Weak point, so you wanna apply debuff so she can actually do some damage. 300% uh, of attack on one enemy, not bad. Uh, second attack, disables recovery skills and prevents ult move gauge from filling up for three turns. Hmm, they got the same attack. Oh, they got the same like debuff. It's kind of funny. Hmm, that's interesting. And then her ultimate is the same as the other one. Spike damage, which is two times crit damage, equal to 350% of attack on all enemies. AOE ultimate. So there, those are the new units, which is great. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna have a step up banner. Um, usual 10 steps. Uh. Red Up Heroes, the new East and the new Valenti, step two and seven on one diamond, an odd, and an uh, and on odd, <laughs> hold on, I'm, just, I'm tripping, I can't read. On odd four rotations, Valenti is guaranteed, and on even four rotations, Easton is guaranteed. Oh, okay, I thought I was going crazy for a second. Bro, this, this, this is looking fresh right here, I like it. I'm loving it. Okay, let's, let's continue. New login bonus for the summer boar hat furniture. Same one as Global's new summer vacation event. New bingo event, Mono Eastern and Valenti costumes. That's pretty, ooh, hold on. Well, that's looking clean. Mono, you looking clean too, ooh. HP sets, oh, bro, more HP, let's go. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. I think when they showed up, the, the actual face and body, that that's defense. But when they just show the, the individual hair or whatever item that's like this is attack this is hp but this is defense yeah attack attack hp hp and this is just defense <laughs> so uh let me not get ahead of myself new summer hawk pass lilia costume okay oh that sticker looking clean lilia looking clean bro what bro she looking too fresh hold on uh we get some part two tickets part one tickets some skins oh my god it's going down bro can they, can they chill bro it's too, this, what is this heat 
And then we got a new final boss bond, top 30% final scores will get Elaine costumes. Bond costumes will be given just from the exchange shop. So get top 30% so you can get old girl here. She looking clean, Bond looking extra clean too. Oh my goodness, it's like, oh, bro, he's like a savage. I like the, the like crimson red too. Uh, Tower of Challenger, no, Tower of Challenge reset. I don't know why I can't read, but okay. So this is just saying that's gonna reset. I, I'm, I'm over here looking at it like I could read. <laughs> like I could read it, but like, I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know some of these words, 20, like that's it, uh, that's all I know. Weak point effect is buffed for single target before, oh, oh, that's like on this, that's when they like fix some some stuff, right? Let me see, balance changes. Uh, before change, 110% of attack, weak point damage on a single enemy. Uh, who's that specifically for? On one enemy, weak point equal to. Who, who was that for? Like, usually they'll they'll like just straight up say it's probably for Bond. Hold on, one ten percent, one hundred and ten percent to two seventy five. Yeah, okay, basically <laughs> red Bond and anybody else who could do weak point. Let's take a look at weak point real quick. Uh, nobody uses you. I mean, people use you for sub slots. Nobody uses you. Nobody uses you. She does weak point. Hold on. I, thought, I just thought she just. Oh, okay. No, oh, I, I didn't even know that. I forgot, I forgot that she even did that. He does weak point. Weak point. Oh, on ultimates, yeah. And then nobody uses mon speed. I don't have Shin, so basically just bond for me. Uh, anybody else? Yeah. Uh, if y'all use weak point for any of these other units, uh, let me know. Uh, before changes, 275 of attack. It's gonna be 300%. Wait, who, 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 who got 300%, dog? That's what I wanna know. 300%. Probably somebody ultimate, huh? No, hold on, let me see Meliodas. Meliodas, oh, wait, did I pass it up? No, because it it's like high. I AF, uh, uh, it, it doesn't matter. All I know is it's like, it's getting buffed. So that's it for this one. Let's take a look over here. We got a story event coming out. Uh, where is it? Yeah, so it looked like something five star. Ooh. Difficulty level, you can check each battle event. Or oh, map, I can't read this, so I wish I could. We'll open an order. So we're getting some free to play stuff. Uh, some changes for the dash pickup button and event notation for battle content. The PvP notification function change. Uh, change the production of debuff skills with evasion effects. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if you dodge with like Derriere or SR Aaron, will they actually like move out of the way? I don't know, that'll be cool. Change PvP aggregation method and registration method. Wait, what? Into the venue of the PvP and the score will be collected at any time without talking to the NPC and after the score is added. You automatically move to the participation. Hmm? Okay, all right. No, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. A uh, number of times you can do this per day is five times. I know I'm kind of all jumping all over the place because I, this is my first time reading. So forgive me, we got the tower coming out. So that is pretty much gonna do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys are most excited for. Are you excited for the final boss? Are you excited for season two of the trial tower? Uh, are you excited for the new units? Are you gonna summon for Valentian Easton? I, I wanna summon, but bro, I'm bro. <laughs> I'm broke. I, I can't get any diamonds, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm tapped out, dog. I, I, as much, as much as Valencia is calling me, dog. As much as she, she, bro, she looking, she's looking dead at me. She's like, Dave, bro, please, something, please. You know you want to, but it's like, come on. I can't. I'm sorry, like, dude, only have like 80 diamonds, but it is what it is. Uh, I mean, I'm as usual. I'm excited for the free to play stuff. Uh, they look all right, but they don't look like insane. You know, that's kind of the reason I don't want to summon because they don't look like must-have units. They look 
cool and all. I mean, it looked great, but it's not like I'll only summon right away if they drop just a like a unit that you just absolutely need, like a green Esterosa or a red Derriere or something like that, dude. I don't know. I'm just save until I feel like that unit they bring out is just stupid and you have to summon. But for right now, I'm a skip. But I'm still hyped that we're getting all this stuff because it looks clean. Look at bro, Lilia is, bro. Everybody is, everybody is on fire, bro. Like, come on, dog. They ain't miss. I mean, they kind of did miss because I'm not summoning. But that's gonna do it for today's uh, patch notes video. Shout out to the Grand Guards database. Make sure you go follow them. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, let me know. I already said that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll, wait, tomorrow I'm gonna do the demon hell runs. So look out for that. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys there.